Hey everyone, it's me the Otaku Fangirl here to review episode 4 of Kiss Him Not Me. We finally got to that part in volume 2 where things happen and they finally animated it. Yay! <laughs> they finally animated the part that I wanted to see, which is we got introduced to a new character. Uh, you see her. Yes, it's a her. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and say, oh, you know. Okay, here's the thing. When I read that part in the manga where she goes to Kamiket and, um, well, goes to Kamiket, meets a... Sebastian from Grey Butler cosplayer, um, I thought, oh, it's another dude. Because first of all, I didn't know there was going to be another girl in this series. And I fell so hard. I was like, oh, he's really attractive. Oh, man. Then it revealed that it's a girl. And I kid you not, I put down the manga. I laid on the floor and I cried a little bit because my heart broke. My heart literally broke. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I knew this was coming, and I was just like, ah oh, man, here it comes. Also, I like the voice that they picked for her. Uh, I like it. I've heard it before, and I'm not exactly sure who it is, but I've heard it before, and I, I like the voice they picked for her. It's nice. Um, so yeah, but, uh, <laughs> so Sandy Numa has met, uh, a, a new love interest, actually, because, um, they kissed. That I was not expecting because volume two ends off with, a uh, like, Sydney Numa seeing her at school, like, the middle of the episode, basically. That's where volume two ends. So, I didn't know anything that was going to happen for the rest of the episode, and it was all new to me. And I was so happy because I didn't know anything. I was like, yes, material that I haven't seen. Um, and it was really interesting. So, uh, our new character here, she, um... She's very rich. Um, she's, she's pretty much, you know, the rich girl. Um, she's got, you know, all her otaku things. And she's also a uh, Fujoshi, just like Sidi Numa. But she also is... Yeah, she's a lesbian. Um, she's a lesbian because she, she kissed Sidi Numa. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. So Sidi Numa's first kiss was with a girl. Yeah, <laughs> I feel sorry for the guys. Um... <laughs> Oh man, those poor guys, that really stinks for them. Um, it's gonna be, ladies, interesting circumstances, I assume, because um, having a girl fighting for her affections, and then also dudes, like four other dudes, and I'm just like, they're gonna have to fight each other for her, for Sandy Numa's affections, and I'm like, oh boy. Um, they also, Sandy Numa and the girl made, um, I forgot what her name is, Ah, oh, dang it, but they made uh, the dudes, like, pose and, like, Yowie things. I was like, oh boy. Nope. No, thank you. Please do not do this to me. Um, but, oh man, this was such a great episode because I didn't know what was going to happen. And every episode going now, I'm not going to know what's going to happen. And I'm so excited. I'm just like, yes, material I've never seen before. But, oh my gosh, I would, this episode shocked me so much with just that kiss scene. I was like, what? Like, I didn't know how to feel. I was like, what? What? How do I feel about this? Like, what? Um, but yeah, wow, just, oh boy, this is gonna be interesting going forward. Just, oh my gosh, this, this anime, it, it's so great. This is like in my probably top four favorite of this season now. This episode just bumped it up so high because that was such a good episode. Oh my gosh. Um, and I just really, really liked that episode. Oh my, I can't express how much I loved that because it was so shocking. It was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe they just did that. Um, there was also a part where, you know, they went to Comic Kid and, you know, bought some Yaoi, the guys, and there was some funny moments there and stuff. But that's not the point of this episode. The point was to introduce our new character who's actually a girl. And I thought it was a dude in the manga. <sighs> Why'd they have to trick me like that? Because in the manga, you, do, you don't have a voice to go off of, so you don't know. You're just going based off looks, you know? And she looked a lot like a dude, so I really thought she was a dude. But, you know, traps and all. Um, freaking traps, gosh dang it. But in the anime, it's clearly obvious it's a girl. And from the opening song, they spoil that, and it's really annoying that they do. But overall, this was a great episode. I can't wait for the next one because I don't know what's going to happen at all because I haven't read any more of the manga. So what did you guys think of this episode of Kiss Him, Not Me? Ready to see the next one? And do you ship Sandy Numa with any of the dudes, or do you ship her with the girl? <laughs> Because, you know what? <laughs> there you go. You got some Yowie and you also got some Yuri in here. So, yeah. I will see you guys in whatever I review next, which is probably going to be Utapri. So, I'll see you guys in that review then. Bye!